Come here, Scar. Come here. Good girl. <laughs> Let's make a video of how hard it is to give Sky her medication at the moment because she's struggling to keep it down. So, we've got a medication here and 10 cc's of water. Sky her medication. I'll struggle for the first couple of days. It goes in her mouth. You'll see. It'll probably come out. We put we put it in in her mouth. Feed it to her. It doesn't go down. So then we just kind of have to keep doing it until it does. And I guess we've we've just been persistent because if we're not, it'll just fall out on the ground and she'll never end up taking her medication. Yeah. Sky, come on, come on. Go here. She doesn't like. She definitely doesn't like taking it after. Open her mouth. So that's her spitting it out. So her first reaction is to spit it out. But what am I? So we put it in, <coughs> and then I take the syringe. It still might come out, it quite often comes out after, but I think I got it first go this time. If I got it first go this time, that's the first time I've ever got it first go. We're pretty, pretty damn smart with that. I, I usually every morning I've started off by giving her uh, 10 milliliters of water, because she's not drinking much anyway, so I don't stop until she finishes. The full syringe. Oh no, I can actually see it there. Hold on, I'll just check. Hard to tell if it's gone down. So I was looking up online, and they said about like, putting these syringes in. The best way to do it is to put it into their cheek. So sometimes I directly put it into her, into front of her mouth, just because that's the easiest, fastest way I can do it. Um, but most of the time I try and go through the side, through the cheek, and then she just swallows it a little bit more naturally. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if she doesn't like it. Actually, she seems to be starting to. She's getting used to drinking from it, which is really good. Now let's check that it's gone down. Yep, that's down. That's the, to be honest, that's the easiest I've given it to her, but it also might be because she's been drinking, well, giving her these, it's not much water, it's 10 milliliters at a time, but I've been giving it to her like five or six times a day, trying to get her back to being rehydrated. But I think Sinead's taking her to see the doctor today, and I'll tell her if she's going all right to the doctor, the vet. See, he's still so it's still just how wobbly she is. But she's definitely better than before. I wouldn't say she's stable on her feet. And you see, that's one of the ways that you recognize this. And this is day four of the medication, so she's getting better. But it's, her back's arched. So when she walks or sits, not actually, mainly when she stands in one spot. I just noticed, and I've noticed a lot of the dogs on YouTube, their back arches up, and like it's not, it's not the usual way that dogs 
staying in one position. You can still see she's still kind of got the tremors. Doing all right though. Hey, Sky, sit. See if she can sit. Good girl, lie down. There we go. I might give her another 10 milligrams of water while I'm here. Another ten. Really. I think the trick to the syringe is do it slowly. You want to make sure it's still getting in there. Don't push it. Don't squirt it in there now. Oh, I'm only have to give her another no, one more. Dark, let put her tongue out. Alright. Good way to start the day. Get some H2O into your hair. Oh, it's driven it everywhere. It's gone in and out. I might not put too much more in that. You gotta be careful because um, she she still <laughs> vomits when she's drinking it. If you give her too much or you give her too much lunch or anything, she still vomits it all up. So it's just better to go slow. Hey, Scott. Uh, she's starting to look better. See what the vet says. Yeah. Come on, Scott. Good girl. Sit. Lie down. Lie down. 